Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another monthly plan with me. I am still sick, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry, but um, I am planning out for the month of April and it's like April like 4th or something like that now, so it's a little little bit behind but that's okay so um, I am using another kit from Scribble Prince Co just because her monthly kits are my favorite and because Crest Press is still closed and they were the only other shop I mainly bought monthly kits from can I just say Crest Press I'm having withdrawals and I need you to come back please please that'd be great uh, but yeah so um, I am filming the or I'm using the April kit from Scribble Prince Co so I'll just flip through it really quickly you guys know what these Scribble Prince Co kits look like for the most part pretty basic and then I do have the deco sidebar to replace um, this sidebar because you guys know I don't use my sidebar so I did get the deco one to replace that and then you also have the two freebies for the days that are not in the month at the bottom of it so we are going to get started with the uh, main boxes first. And April is a very slow month, I will be honest. There's not a ton of stuff happening. And um, it's just, it's going to be a very quick plan with me because I don't have very many things happening in April. Uh, May is usually my busy month. May is definitely like my crazy month, so uh, you can look forward to the May plant with me, but yeah, April, not so much. It's not all that busy. Okay, let me put down a flag really quickly. I think I want to do the pink one to cover this flag up here. Put that there. And this one's going to be kind of fun to line up because there isn't really anything to line it up with, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and hope that it's magically straight. If it's not, it's whatever. It's not that crazy big of a deal, which I think I put that down pretty straight. So that was great. Okay, and then let's do the deco sidebar really quickly. But yeah, still sick. Don't mind my sick voice if I sound sick. I Today's Wednesday and I'm planning on filming like a bunch of videos. I feel like this goes over. This is really big. This is a, hold on. Okay. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Oh no, I am going crazy. Okay. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on filming like a bunch of videos today cause I really need to get some videos up for you guys and all of them are going to be of me sounding ridiculous because of my cold, which is better. I don't sound nearly as bad as I did. So that's nice, but it'll be nice to not be sick. <laughs> That'll be great, but yeah, so I'm gonna put down the um, ones down here. I actually called out of my shift yesterday, so I've had pretty much three days off. I did not put that down straight at all. Um, and it's been a nice three days, well, kind of. I've been binge watching Plan With Me, it's literally all I did yesterday and played The Sims, and then I am, Monday, what did I do Monday? I didn't really do much Monday either. Didn't really do very much of anything. I, I did film on Monday though, so there's that, but yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, there are the days that are not in the month, and let's do... Uh, let's do the holidays really quickly. So let's see. Easter was obviously the first as well as April Fool's Day. So we'll do Easter and April Fool's Day, which was just very strange um, that it was, what's it called? Um, Easter on April Fool's Day. And cannot put things down straight today. There we go. Okay. April Fool's Day. And then Earth Day is the 22nd. And Passover ends is this day. And SPC for your, I know it's the end of April. I just don't know what day it is. Hold please. 
Okay, so I honestly don't know when the SPC for year is. She has the for year bundle coming out on the Thursday, but I don't know if that's the actual like anniversary date. So I think I'm going to leave that one and put it down later when I find out what it is. So we're going to leave that and that's it for the holidays. And let's go ahead and do all of my paydays. So I'm just going to close this now and uh, zoom you guys in. Make sure you are in focus. Um, okay. So... Uh, I get paid every Thursday, so I am going to grab the payday stickers and just put them down, and I am looking forward to her reformat, so she did reformat her monthly kits, and she got rid of the mini event labels, which are these, and I never use those, so I'm excited to use, like, what uh, she put into the kits, because she put, like, movie marquees in the kits and stuff like that, which I am so down for, I'm super excited about that. I feel like I should like, I don't know. I feel like I just use so many Scribble Friends Co. kits. It's kind of ridiculous. I should just have like a permanent like every Thursday or not every Thursday, every Friday, just order all the things because <laughs> I already know I'm going to end up ordering them. So, okay. So I do have a bill due on the 4th. So let's do, do the purple one. And then the 11th, it's not really a bill due, it is the Glam Planner and Scribble Prints Co. Uh, subscription renewal, which I am hardcore considering uh, quitting or canceling my Glam Planner one. I do like the teenies, so I might end up keeping the teenies, but I don't know. The last couple ones that I've gotten, apart from like the Disney kit, they're just, they just weren't my favorite, and I wasn't like obsessed with them, so I don't know. I just am not loving her mystery kits as much as I was before. Some of them are amazing still, but others I'm just like meh on. And lately the past like four that I've gotten have been kind of meh. So yeah. Okay. And then the 22nd I have a bill due. Oh my God. Why do I want to keep using that color? But the color is there. I keep wanting to use this mint color, but the color every time is already there. Okay, there's that. And then I do have one on the 28th as well. And that should be it for my bill dues. So there's that. Also, if you guys have been seeing, so when I lift this up, there is a little cardstock here. I'm going to try not to show you the names on it. This is the wedding invitation for the um, wedding that I went to. If you see that, that's my wedding week. So, um, or not my wedding week, but the week of the wedding. So this is the wedding invitation that I... Uh, coil clipped into my planner. So I'm taking a little bit of notes from uh, Jessica from Jake Plans. She used to do that all the time. And I was like, hey, I have this like, I have the invitation. I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm going to stick it in there. So yeah. Okay. I think that's everything for like the basics. So we'll just get started by day with day by day, which was not a, a ton of stuff. So first thing, the first was obviously Easter. So I do want to take one of these girls. I think I'll take Teeny. And I'm just going to put her right there. These are from Glam Planner. They're the Easter ones that I got last year. And I just wanted to use that just to mark it. And then let's see here. So the 7th is the last regular season game for the Ducks, um, which they should, in theory, unless they lose all three of their last games, be going to the playoffs. Um, I think there's just one team that needs to lose and then they're like completely like they're in. It just determines on who or like what um, like, team they're playing, so I believe they should be going to the playoffs, but I do want to mark the last game of the season for, like, the normal season, and then let's see, nothing's on the other week. On the 12th, it is the last day of food and wine, which I'm so excited about, honestly. Um, I am so done with food and wine, if I'm being honest. I don't hate it, I'm just, I'm just, I'm done with it. It's been a rough month and a half of food and wine. It was a lot of work, so it, it just exhausted all of us. So, last day of food and wine is on the 12th, so I'm going to grab this little girl, or this girl from the Little Surprise Shop, and I don't actually drink wine, so I'm using, like, the wine stickers that I have to mark that. And then the 13th is uh, the first day of Pixar Fest, which is running all the way until, I believe, uh, September, I think. Um, and Pixar Fest is the thing that Disney's doing uh, now that it's all related to 
the Pixar things. So if you don't know, we're getting Pixar Pier, which is a um, whole entire, it's still the Pier, but it's being rethemed as Pixar themed. So that's going to be happening eventually. I think it's going to be done in like June or something like that. But on DCA side, they are getting a uh, Paint the Night or California Adventure side, sorry. They're getting Paint the Night Parade and then over on uh, Disneyland side, they're getting a new fireworks show and the Pixar Play Parade's going on that side. So it's going to be interesting and I do want to mark it just because it is the first day of it and every time there's always a first day, everything burns So and work is always chaotic. So I am going to mark that. I'm assuming I'm working. I don't know where I'm working, honestly, but I'm, a, I'm assuming I'm working on that day. Let's see. Yep, I will definitely be working it. So yeah, anyway. 13th is that so I don't actually have any Pixar characters and I realized this when I was looking for the sticker but um, I found these these are a freebie from odd loop I've had these for forever I have like three different sheets of these and I figured these would work so uh, technically the monsters characters are uh, Pixar themes so I think I'm gonna grab Sully and I'll just use Sully to mark Pixar fest and Let's see, there's nothing else on the other side. Apparently everything's on this side of the planner because there's literally nothing on the other side. So the last thing I want to mark is on the 27th, it is uh, the Avengers and, uh, not the Avengers, just the Avengers Infinity War coming out. Wow, Lindsay, okay. So I'm going to grab a label and I'm going to grab the little Coffee Monsters Co. Munchkins. I kind of actually want to use the last fun label. I think I am. I've used all main labels for all of these events, so why not use it for that one as well? I could probably use a movie marquee, but I don't want to pull out a movie marquee, so we're just going to take the fancy label, and I'll put it actually in the middle. So Avengers Infinity War is coming out, which I am so excited about. I have never been more excited for an Avengers movie or like a Marvel movie in general until now. So I am going to take this sheet from the Coffee Monsters Co. I have been hoarding Captain America. He is my favorite and I think I'm going to use him for this. Actually, do I want to use him in my main planner? Ooh, no. In my main spread? I'm going to use him in the main spread. Let's use then... Hmm. Let's do Black Widow. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, yeah. We'll use Black Widow. I'm a little indecisive, but yeah, I'm I'm so excited for that movie. You guys have no idea. Okay, let's open this back up. It's so sad because that's literally it. There's not much happening. Let me put down the full boxes really quickly. So let's do one on the, oops, ninth. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys March's spread, how that one turned out. I added a couple things. I find that I actually don't, unless uh, like a ton of stuff happens, I don't really add very many things to the past month. But I will still show it to you guys because I told you guys I would. So we are going to do that. Ooh, I just ripped part of that. It's fine. I just ripped like the backing off of it. Oops, there we go. Okay, and then let's do... One on the 29th? Yeah, why not? That was a little crooked. Hold, please. There we go. Better. Okay. So there's that. Let me show you March really quickly. So this is how March turned out. Like I said, I didn't really add too much into it. The bottom was still pretty top or bottom heavy. It's still pretty bottom heavy. There's still a lot that happened at the bottom, but that was when I traveled. So yeah, not much added to it, but I did add a couple things. So that is how March turned out. And here is April's spread. So that is all my plans that I have. I told you April's really, really slow. Promise May will be much busier. I'm going to go ahead and fill it out like I do with my Papermate Flare. And I'm going to put down the date dots and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished spread. So here is the whole entire spread filled out. Honestly, I didn't have to fill out very much at all. Um, but yeah, here's the finished spread. I really like it. I'm not a big fan of just how it's just all floral, but I think it's still really pretty. So yeah. Let me flip through what's left in the kit. Obviously, I still have a ridiculous amount of stuff left because I don't have a very busy month. So, yeah, that is everything for this 
uh, playing with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, it's a little bit of a shorter video so hopefully you guys don't mind that. But if you did enjoy it, as always, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and comment down below anything you would like to. And I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye guys!